Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining me. So we have an update on the appeal for Robert Sylvester Kelly. So if you can remember back February 17th, 2022, Jennifer Bonjean, attorney, appeals attorney for Robert Sylvester Kelly, filed a motion to dismiss, acquit, or retry Robert Sylvester Kelly. Well, now it is a, another situation that came up on February 17th as well, 2022, um, regarding the opinion of a case that was filed and it was received February 17th, 2022. I'll let you hear the docket information. But according to a report, um, R. Kelly lost his sexual assault case by default after failing to show up for court. Well, this is after, you know, everyone had jumped ship on Robert Sylvester Kelly. So he's asking to reopen the Heather Williams assault case due to his learning disability, not being able to read at the time that the court had filed the motion for him to appear. Now, when the body is incarcerated in the ship of the criminal justice system, you have to get approval from the judge to be mandated to go to a, another hearing. So in this case, he had no one show up on his behalf because his body was not, it, it, it's like a habeas corpus. His body was unable to be moved at the time. So this woman, Heather Williams, won her case against him. So we're going to let you hear a little bit of what this appellate filed for February 17, 2022 in the Appellate Court of Illinois' First District. Midwest Commercial Funding LLC versus Robert Sylvester Kelly, number 20L2158. Opinion one. The issue in this case is whether a judgment creditor may perfect service of a citation to discover assets by electronic mail upon a third party prior to that third party's appearance in the matter and thereby secure a superior lien over another judgment creditor who later perfected service upon the same third party by U.S. mail. We conclude that Illinois law does not provide for 2. Service by electronic mail in that circumstance, therefore, a judgment creditor does not perfect service or a lien by such method of service. 2. I. Background. 3. Robert Sylvester Kelly, known professionally as R. Kelly, was a successful recording artist and, as such, receives royalty payments from Sony Music Holdings, Inc. Heather Williams filed an action alleging that Kelly physically and sexually abused her while she was a minor. Williams obtained a $4 million default judgment against Kelly in March 2020. In a separate, unrelated matter, Midwest Commercial Funding, LLC filed an action against Kelly for breach of a commercial lease. MCF obtained a default judgment of nearly $3.5 million in July 2020. In each of their respective actions, Williams and MCF caused the clerk of the Cook County Circuit Court to issue a citation to discover assets upon Sony. Williams sent her citation to Sony by first class mail on August 17, 2020. MCF mailed its citation to Sony two days later, August 19, 2020. However, the same day, August 19, MCF sent a copy of its citation, attached to an electronic mail message, to a member of Sony's in house legal staff, David Castagna. MCF knew Castagna's email address since MCF had corresponded with Castagna in prior legal matters. In an email response to MCF on August 24, 2020, Castagna acknowledged receipt of MCF's citation. The record does not clarify if Castagna was referring to MCF's emailed citation copy or the paper citation MCF sent by U.S. Mail. Castagna followed with a more formal response on August 27, 2020, which stated that Sony had also received a citation from Williams. A postal return receipt shows Williams's citation was delivered to Sony on August 24, 2020. 4. Subsequently, both MCF and Williams filed adverse claims in each other's cases. 
Before the circuit court, MCF and Williams contested the priority of their citations and, consequently, one in adherence with the requirements of Illinois Supreme Court Rule 352, this appeal has been resolved without oral argument upon the entry of a separate written order. 3. Their liens on Kelly's assets held by Sony. In a written order, the circuit court stated that the issue came down to the timing of service. Relying upon Illinois Supreme Court Rule 12, the court found that MCF perfected service upon Sony prior to Williams, since Rule 12 provides that service by electronic means is complete on the day of transmission, while service by U.S. mail is complete four days after mailing. Applying those provisions, the court found that MCF completed service upon Sony on August 19, the day MCF transmitted its citation by email, and Williams completed service on August 21, four days after she sent her citation by U.S. mail. Thus, MCF was first, and the court rejected Williams's claim of priority. The court also rejected Williams's equitable arguments in favor of her priority. The court then ordered a turnover to MCF of funds in Kelly's royalty account and any additional funds that may accrue in the account up to the sum of MCF's judgment. Further, Sony was ordered to pay Williams only after MCF's judgment is satisfied. Williams filed a motion to reconsider, which the court denied by written order. Williams timely appealed. Fought. Get this. Everyone is standing in line in order to get money from R. Kelly, preventing him from being able to get any of his royalty money to support him at this moment. Um, Williams filed the case in 2020 after all of the hoopla of everybody um, accusing R. Kelly for sexual assault. And then her case was granted because his body was unable to be in court to fight. And his attorneys jump ship on him saying that there was psychological problems saying that there were issues and this is very very weird but let's keep listening two analysis six a citation to discover assets creates a lien seven Section 2 minus 1402 of the Code of Civil Procedure enables a judgment creditor to commence supplementary proceedings to enforce a judgment by serving a citation to discover assets upon a judgment debtor or any other person. ID. Section 214.02. NCE a judgment creditor serves the judgment debtor with a citation to discover assets. A judgment lien is perfected on those assets of the debtor which are not otherwise exempt under law. Sign Builders, Inc. v. SVI Themed Construction Solutions, Inc., 2015 ILAP 142212. 16, 735 ILCS 5 halves 1402. Likewise, when the citation is directed against a third party, the judgment becomes a lien upon assets of the debtor in the third party's possession or 4. So that means control. So that literally means that everybody has control of R. Kelly's money except Robert Sylvester Kelly. There is no one who, and even after Sony um, withholding pays off everyone from his royalties, then comes his child support. So how is he ever going to be put back in a position that is going to be sustainable for him to live, for him to empower himself to get back out there and do what he needs to do. This is just very, very sad to me. Very sad. Um, let's move on to Williams. Williams and MCF dispute which of them first perfected a lien on Kelly's assets held by Sony. Resolution of the issue hinges on whether MCF's August 19th email to Sony's legal department, with the citation attached, constitutes proper service. If so, MCF perfected a superior lien on Kelly's royalty account. If not, Williams perfected a superior lien by mailing her citation on August 17, two days before MCF mailed its citation. Service by U.S. mail is deemed completed four days after mailing. Ill. S. Court R. 12. 9. B. Standing to raise improper service on a citation respondent. 10. Before we address which party has a superior lien, we examine MCF's contentions that Williams's appeal is barred. 
First, MCF argues that Williams lacks standing to raise issues regarding service upon Sony, asserting that only Sony has standing to raise such issues. As MCF points out, Illinois courts have stated, on multiple occasions, that, a party may, object to personal jurisdiction or improper service of process only on behalf of himself or herself. People v. Matthews, 2016 IL 118114, 19, quoting Fanslow v. Northern Trust Company, 299 IL. App, standing is an element of justiciability, and it must be defined on a case-by-case -case basis. People v. Greco, 204 IL, 2D 400, 409. We find the cases MCF relies on distinguishable from the present matter. In Matthews, a petitioner filed a pro se petition for relief from judgment in the circuit court several years after his murder conviction, claiming that a witness committed perjury in his trial. Matthews, 2016 IL 118114, 3-4. The petition contained a certification stating that the state had been served with a copy by mail. ID. Okay, this is another case that they're using to use as precedent to compare and contrast that Williams and um, the appellee for the uh, Midwest holding went above their uh, jurisdiction in order to create, to make Sony pay them from R. Kelly's royalties. So now we see that in all of these connected cases, and you can go back to cite the case yourself if you wanna compare and contrast um, court law, and you will see that in these promissory notes, you have to have um, authority to be able to, you know, just garnish someone and take all their, their royalties. You have to be able to do that. So let's see what Williams is going to have to face. ID. This case presents a far different situation. Williams is not seeking to vicariously assert Sony's waivable right to notice, unlike the attempts of the parties in the cases we just discussed. Rather, she is asserting her own interest in Kelly's royalty account by arguing that MCF's email did not perfect service and that she acquired a superior lien by being first to mail a citation to Sony. Thus, she has a real interest in the outcome of this controversy. See Greco, 204 ill. 2D at 409. Also, unlike Matthews or in Ray M.W., Williams is not seeking a second opportunity to litigate an underlying claim or get a new trial due to a defect in service to another party. The alleged defect in service is the pivotal issue at the heart of the matter before us. Neither is Williams seeking to undermine the effect of another court's order, as in Fanslow. Further, we believe that Williams has standing to raise issues regarding service of MCF's citation to discover assets upon Sony, as a contrary finding would deprive her, or any similarly situated judgment creditor, of any opportunity to assert her claim of a superior lien upon the assets in the citation respondent's possession. Worse, we would effectively empower the citation respondent to determine priority among judgment creditors by electing when to waive or object to service. Such power could be exercised arbitrarily, or perhaps nefariously through agreement with a creditor, and leave other creditors, who may have legally superior claims, without. See, and Seven. that's what the biggest problem is. Everyone's trying to jump, sh jump on board, trying to get money that R. Kelly has worked for, he's worked his whole life for. And when he was wa um, talking at the Gail King um, interview, I see now it wasn't a face off between Gail King and the King of R&B. What it was, was a face off to Sony. He was talking to Sony. You're killing me, man. You know, how can I, how can I see my kids when I can't work? And this is what was happening. He was sending a subliminal message to Sony. And with that, this case right here has created a precedent to be on hold right now because everyone is standing in line to gain royalties from Sony under the under the name R. Kelly. It's really sad. Now we're going to move on to the forfeitures um, of the case.
Next, MCF claims that Williams waived or forfeited the issue, as she did not specifically challenge the propriety of MCF's service by email until she asserted the argument in her motion to reconsider. As MCF notes, reguments raised for the first time in a motion for reconsideration in the circuit court are forfeited on appeal. Tafoya Cruz v. Temperance Beer Company, 2020 IL App 190606, 83. This rule, however, is a limitation on the parties, not on the court. Carlson v. Michael Best and Friedrich LLP, 2021 IL App 191961. 52. We may exercise discretion to consider the argument on the merits, as it is an issue of law as applied to undisputed facts, mm -hmm. which the parties have fully briefed, and MCF is not prejudiced by our consideration of the issue under these circumstances. ID, C. People v. Begay, 2018 IL App 150004, D, Service by Electronic Mail. 18. As authority for perfecting service of a citation to discover assets by email, MCF relies on Illinois Supreme Court Rule 11. We construe Illinois Supreme Court rules using the same principles that govern interpretation of statutes. Ferris, Thompson & Zweig, Ltd. v. Esposito, 2017 IL 121297, 22. Our primary goal is to ascertain and give effect to the intent of the drafters. ID. The most reliable indicator of that intent is the language used, given its plain and ordinary meaning. ID. We consider the rule in its entirety and keep in mind the subject it addresses. I rule 11 provides for serving documents by email, to the email address identified by the party's appearance in the matter. Ill. S. Court R. 11. In accord with that procedure, Rule 11 requires attorneys to include on the appearance and on all pleadings filed in court an email address to which documents and notices will be served. And that they weren't able to do because everyone jumped ship. Everyone jumped ship. And I have to keep saying that. I have to keep saying that because it was unfair. Um, serving the documents, he was unable to read them. He had no one to break down the, the legalities, the terminology that's used in the criminal justice system. It was just very, very sad that this is how Williams even won her lawsuit from the beginning. So we don't even know if he did these acts upon this woman. And it's just, wow. Oh my goodness. Let's keep going. In our view, a citation to discover assets, when directed against a third party who has not yet appeared in the action, amounts to process and is akin to a summons. The citation requires the party to appear and invokes the circuit court's jurisdiction over such party. Absent service of the citation, such party has no duty to appear, nor could the court subject such party to the sanctions provided in Section 2-1402 for noncompliance. C-735 ILCS 5 halves 1402. As the 4th District observed, supplementary proceedings may target third parties who might not even know that a lawsuit has taken place or that a judgment has been rendered. There we go. Shipley versus Ho- There we go. I have to say it again. He didn't even know. And this is one of the rules that needs to be addressed on this appeal. This appeal is saying that he was not there. He wasn't given the- opportunity to even fight for his freedom. Um, mm. 94. For this reason, the initiation of supplementary proceedings against a third party must be accompanied by service of process and the special notices set forth in section 2-1402 of the code. ID. 93. Accordingly, a citation to discover assets is not the kind of document contemplated in Rule 11, at least when directed to a party who has not appeared. Therefore, Rule 11 does not authorize service of such a citation by email. 21. In this case, Sony had not appeared in the underlying action before either party attempted to serve Sony with a citation to discover assets. Only upon proper service of a citation did the circuit court acquire jurisdiction over Sony. Thus, a properly served citation would act as service of process upon Sony. 
Rule 11 is the sole basis in Illinois law for service of documents by email but, as we explained, that rule does not apply to a citation to discover assets in this situation. Therefore, MCF's August 19th email was not a recognized method for service of the citation under Illinois law. Consequently, the email did not perfect a lien pursuant to Section 214.02. 10. Section 2 minus 1402 does not specify a particular method of service, but it expressly permits service of the citation by mail. C735 ILCS 5 halves 1402. Williams mailed her citation to Sony two days before MCF mailed its citation. As Rule 12 provides that service is deemed complete four days after mailing, Williams perfected a lien superior to that of MCF's on Kelly's royalty account with Sony. 22. 3. Conclusion. 23. Accordingly, we reverse the circuit court's order denying Williams's claim of priority and vacate the orders directing Sony to turn over funds from Kelly's royalty account to MCF. We further vacate the orders recognizing MCF's lien is superior to Williams's on any funds that may accrue in the future in Kelly's royalty account. We remand this matter to the circuit court to enter orders directing Sony to turn over to Williams any funds currently in Kelly's royalty account and any funds that may accrue in Kelly's royalty until such time as Williams's judgment is satisfied. 24. Reversed, vacated, and remanded with directions. 11. No January 21st, 644. Cite as. Midwest Commercial Funding, LLC v. Kelly, 2022 ILAP. 210,644. Decision under review. Appeal from the Circuit Court of Cook County, No. 20L2158, The Honorable Patrick J. Hineghan, Judge, Presiding. Attorneys for Appellant. Jeffrey S. Deutschman, of Deutschman and Skafish, P.C., of Chicago, for Appellant. Attorneys for Appellee. Jamie L. Burns, of Levenfeld Perlstein, LLC, of Chicago, for Appellee. So, again, we have to define the terminology of what they're saying here. Um, it's all because he wasn't able to go and fight for himself that now all of his royalties are going to be put on um, on payroll, basically, for other people to receive money that he was unable to fight for. I think that that's just totally unfair. I feel that the system um, really and truly abandoned Robert Sylvester Kelly in this particular incident because of his dyslexia and his ability to not be able to be in court and have no one to speak on his behalf. What are your views? Um, about this situation and is there any um misunderstanding that you believe i may have on this court appeal right here for the cook county um the uh cook county um appellate court of illinois first district appealing through Midwest Commercial Funding LLC. And as I was doing some research also, there was a woman on YouTube that was saying that when you build to suit, there should be no way that you should have a $3.5 million repair to your building if your building is suited for individuals to come in and perform a business. So if R. Kelly was in the studio and created a studio atmosphere for his um, property location and called it a business, then that right there is going to have to be re-examined in order to um, put something else in there. So say for instance, like this woman said on YouTube, if there is a person that's coming in that's a uh, maybe hairdresser and she creates a beautician in the same building, you're going to have to build that building to suit the business need of the Beautician. So I don't understand how he his repairs came to three point five million dollars. I think people are just taking his money and they're doing it and railroading him. And now he is separated from his money and he has been muted. And there's nothing that he can say against any of this. It's just awfully sad. And 
I pray that no one has to go through this. I pray that R. Kelly keeps his head up and continues to move forward with this because this is enough to break anybody's spirit. So give me your thoughts, comments, and concerns, and um, I will post the um, court case, the appeal court case. So if you would like to follow it, you can. I don't really see anybody talking about this right here um, as much as they're talking about the publicity of just the R. Kelly situation. Um, but this caught my eye after I finished Solar Coaster. So I really look forward to everybody's you know, ideas and comments on this. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time. And as always, keep it 100.